Oh, thank you. Okay, if you want to get some sunshine, head outside mm. because it's a perfect night, it's isn't it? It's so beautiful Still right now. Out there. Cleared out. Looks like a great evening. Yeah. We do this again tomorrow evening and then a little change into the end of the weekend, but the weekend looks really good. So mm. well, let's get started right now. Hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Hey, look at Long Beach. Whoa, that's so nice. Lots of sunshine there. Look at the water. Does that look inviting? Just, yes. to, just can't go out there and enjoy it. Uh, nice shot, Everett Field, uh, Payne Field rather. Not a whole lot of cloud cover here either. Uh, and then finally, let's look at Hurricane Ridge. I think this spot tomorrow may see a few spotty showers, and I'll explain what's going on. Mount Rainier, Paradise, gorgeous. If you're doing some hiking, maybe some camping, don't expect the showers there. Most of it will be along the Olympic Mountains tomorrow. And then look at this beautiful shot as we're looking out toward downtown Seattle. That is just fantastic. 76 right now in Seattle. We did have a couple of low 80s per afternoon highs today. Oak Harbor at 69. Arlington, you're at 73. Puyallup, 79. Uh, as we go through Putricast for the evening hours, it's got a nice little marine push, kind of like we had last night. So a lot of the cloud cover will come through overnight. Got a little eddy here that's going to spin just off the coast. And you got that counterclockwise rotation that helps to deepen the marine layer push it in and it's really going to stay right along the coast. This is going to be one o'clock uh, tomorrow afternoon. And then as we go through the late afternoon, you'll get a little bit of sunshine and then the clouds come back in again and then the big changes start to happen. So that first system we talked about this yesterday is going to pass up to the north, enhance the marine layer in the morning hours. Kind of what happened. This will continue to scoot up to the north. This one's going to fall into its place and then we've got another one. This one right here is the one that will bring us the rain on Friday. So tomorrow, plan on clouds to start with this system a little closer to us. It could give us a couple of light showers close to maybe Forks uh, up into the Olympic Mountains, maybe Port Angeles. Not much. It'll move through quickly. Then the next one I just pointed out comes in late to Thursday into Friday. Give us some breezy conditions and some spotty showers as well. Timing wise right now, this is going to be one o'clock in the morning. By the time we get to the morning commute, we should have some spotty showers. The morning commute could be a little bit wet at times. We'll keep those showers going right about through the lunch hour. And then as we go home on Friday, getting ready to enjoy the weekend, these showers are starting to end. It looks like they should be out of here by Saturday. Saturday and Sunday look a whole lot better. And by the way, reminder, if you ever want the forecast, you can text the word weather to us at 206-448-4545. We'll get that out to you. Here's your seven day forecast 78 tomorrow, sunny 81 on Thursday for Seafair. A little bit of you know, scattered showers on Friday, Saturday and Sunday looks great. Joyce Mark at that point, we're back into the low to mid 80s and we'll keep those 80s going into Monday and Tuesday of next week. That is perfect Seafair weather.